Hey guys, I have not been on here and I definitely wanted to update you guys on my challenge because I'm going to be honest with y'all, the Indigenous Strands Challenge is probably the hardest challenge that I literally ever had to do in my life and it's because of consistency, consistency, consistency. So I've been doing, we're going to get there, but I've been doing this challenge for the past now, this is July, so I started in February. So February, March, April, May, June, July. So technically this is five months. And I'm gonna be honest with you. Please, some look, somebody, if you're out listening and you're doing this challenge, let's start a little Instagram group to keep each other accountable or something because consistency, consistency, consistency has been my problem. Now, let me tell y'all, I don't know why, I don't know if I'm lazy, like I don't know what it is, but it's like, it's so hard to implement putting moisturizer and moisturizing my hair day and night. And it's like, I just don't understand why it's just that difficult. I'm gonna be real with y'all. Like sometimes like I be, I'm even too lazy to brush my teeth at night sometimes, you know? And it's just like, I wanna get out of that laziness habit. And you know what I'm saying? Cause I'm gonna be honest, like this challenge has definitely been difficult because the hair in the front of my head is way shorter girls because listen my hair broke off let me show y'all what i'm talking about though you can even see it from here wait can you hold on you can't really see the dip because like some of the long hair i mixed in with this well let me even tell y'all about this style because originally right i was doing the twist just like indigenous strand but because my hair is so short in the front my twist will look so stupid. So I would have like twists that stop like right here, like little stupid little twists. And then like the rest of my twists would be like normal length or whatever the case may be. But so I was just like, I didn't, I'm gonna be honest with you. Like I did not like how the twist, see you could really see it now, like boom. You see how? You see how this is like way sh shorter? Even here, look, look, look. I don't know what's going on with my hair, y'all. But you see how, like, now this one has been broken off for a while. I'm gonna keep it real. It's been broken off for a little while. But do you see like this part? It's like my problem area. I have a huge problem area here, but oh my God back here i wish i could see i wish let me see i'm gonna, I'm gonna see if i can figure it out but back here you see how my hair is so short right here you see it is it in front of me i'm not sure hold on let me see yes yeah you see that like it's so short or whatever. And it's like, I have been trying my best. I'm gonna be honest, like I haven't been doing like the whole hour of it. I've been trying, like I do it when I remember to be honest with you. But I can honestly say like from the aloe vera treatment, I can just feel like a subtle difference in my hair. Like applying like the aloe vera leaf and stuff, like the gel to my hair. I wish I did it every day. If I just did it every day, we wouldn't even be sitting here talking. I would have been like, girls, let me tell y'all, my hair is growing like a weed, blah, 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 blah. But yeah, so I have a whole nother, the same problem area I have here. I have back here, whatever. And I'm going to be honest with y'all. Like, I really, really, really want to get consistent with this challenge because I'm going to be honest with y'all. Like, we all want long hair. Like, you have women spending seven, eight, nine hundred dollars on long hair. So, we all, for those who want to front, but honestly, like, I'm keeping it 100% real with y'all. I want my hair to grow. Yes. And it's like, I feel like it's a lot. I have a lot of reasons why I want my hair to grow because I'm going to be completely honest. This is about to get kind of deep, but y'all kind of, hopefully y'all understand where I'm coming from. 
because I'm gonna be honest with you this this video I'm actually probably gonna make a video about it next and long story short it's this beautiful little dark skin girl right with her locks she is so cute right did she have locks but she had natural hair beautiful dark skin girl and then she was like I'm ugly and then she started crying and crying and crying and I'm just like this little girl was like four years old like who told her she's ugly and I'm gonna be honest we tell her she's ugly every day because you know there's so many black women who it's like we're afraid to wear our natural hair out in public and it's like I get it you know because like I said I'm not gonna sit there and say like I wasn't once there because I definitely was there but it's like you have to wake up and it's like if you gotta put on a whole nother outer exterior in order to feel comfortable around like other people in the sense like you gotta reach from within and ask yourself like why so like I have a really good friend of mine you know I love her to death and I was just like you know she spends a lot of money on wigs and weaves and all like a lot of money so I was just like won't you just wear your natural hair and she was like I'm not ready yet and I'm like ready for what and she couldn't answer she was just like I'm just not ready I'm like ready for what like what are you waiting for she was just like she's not ready so I just left her alone and you know I'm gonna be honest if you feel like you're not ready to wear your natural hair just do it like this is 2020 be you you understand what I'm saying like be yourself like you have to feel comfortable with being yourself you understand because if you can't feel comfortable with you no one's going to be comfortable with you you understand but that's a whole nother topic for a whole other day but I had did like a little link check video like a long time ago not a long time ago but like maybe about like four months ago I wonder like if I have any growth or whatever the case may be so I'm just gonna do a little situation like this see what's going on this hair does not count yeah let's view it up but it's like moving pieces of hair that's a little bit longer. Just, you know what, you know how that goes. But yeah, so it's like, I was doing the twist, right? But I told y'all, the twist ugh, did not look right on me, for real. Like, I'm not, I wish they really did. Because some sisters are out here rocking some beautiful twists. And y'all keep rocking them because y'all look so good. But anyway, so I was like, so then, you know how everybody and they mother was like clowning Blue Ivy, you know, remember when, you know, they was like, oh, they even created a petition, oh, that'll do her hair, that, that, that'll do her hair. But it's like, if you notice, Beyonce usually keeps Blue Ivy's braid hair in braids just like this. There's a few big braids or whatever, and like Blue Ivy hair is like here now. So I'm like, instead of doing the twist, these are the braids I'm doing. So, you know, I switched up the challenge just a little bit. So this, I call this the blue eye. I was like, this is the blue ivy method. So I'm definitely doing the blue ivy method. I made that up. <laughs> but yeah, so I wonder like if my hair is growing because it don't freaking feel like it. I'm not going to even lie. But one thing I have been doing for real is leaving my hair alone. Because I used to, Lord have mercy, I used to do all types of stupid shit to my hair. But like for these past three months, I've honestly just been leaving my hair. Oh, let me not do this. You see me? You see this? Sorry, y'all. It's like my subconscious look. So hold on. I'm gonna see if I could. I'm gonna put in a video. A vi oh, don't mind my boyfriend, all right? He's working. Okay, but I'm gonna put a video up here. I mean, like, it's not a video. I'm gonna put a picture up here. But yeah, of uh, when I started doing a link check. But am I lit or not? Think. Uh, straight. Don't do nothing crooked. Don't do me like this. My link check, look at my hands, that's my armpit. No, nobody got the time. So, but yeah, so let's see. Straight neck. Okay, here. Maybe, I don't know. And then we're gonna do this part here. That's what I did in the, in the 
way back when. I wonder, cause like, I'm gonna be honest with y'all, like, have y'all ever heard of the, like the Hollywood hair bar serum? It's like, every time I go on YouTube and every time I go on Instagram, so like their marketing is lit, for real, for real. Like, I love their marketing. So I'm thinking about like trying the, the not really think, I, yeah, I'm thinking about trying the, the hair growth um, serum because it's all natural and it has like essential oils and everything in there and i just really want to like because i'm gonna be honest with y'all like i miss like having long hair i'm not gonna front like not saying my hair was long but you know like having box braids or anything like you know crochet twist so i'm gonna be honest with you like i miss that and I've been like, uh, I'm like, I really don't want to break this challenge, even though I'm not doing it right anyway. So, because I have not been, so I've been doing the leave your hair alone part. I moisturize when I try so hard. It's just that I need to stick to a routine. That's the problem. Okay. cheat you know what i'm saying okay is my hair well this part of my hair is like tension damaged oh my god because i used to put these tight tight bonds like this so that part like the the end the edges of my hair are tension damaged so let's see okay and then let's see i'm gonna plug the video like maybe at the bottom yeah check for in the description or i don't know how this goes i'm I'm still young at this whole youtube thing so check to see if my hair grew or not so let's give it a lift i don't know what do y'all think what do you what's happening okay so yeah but yeah ladies and gentlemen i have been rocking it's like these are like this hairstyle can be cute but it just doesn't last because you gotta just you know do a little situation and you know mind my business slick the edges and keep it moving but it's like are my edges going like what do you guys think and it's like i feel like my hair is just getting thinner and thinner and thinner i don't know see Let's see what's happening breakage i just need to do better so listen y'all if you guys are doing this challenge i'm about to go get my moisturizer hold on so at least i could do two things at once i'm back i'm just gonna moisturize with some quick almond oil just 100 percent almond oil if y'all could see that but anyway so like i was saying if y'all are doing this challenge, can we start a Facebook? Not even, because I hate Facebook. I'm going to keep it real. I really cannot stand Facebook. So let's create like a little, I like, maybe like a regular text group, a regular something. I don't know, because I really want to do this, but I think I need accountability partners for this one. Because I don't know why it takes so long and not even about taking some. You see, it's like my hair. Honestly, with y'all, like I was saying earlier, it's like I really want hair because I want to show black women and young black girls like that if they just take care of themselves, that you could be better. Like you could let, definitely be look better and be better than that seven hundred dollar wig that's on your head. You know what I'm saying? It's like you'll be like feeling more confident because it's like you feel beautiful in your own skin you know and i'm gonna be honest I, that's another reason why i really want to like do this challenge because i just want to essentially like i'm gonna keep it real just like be an inspiration because so many women are just like so not confident with their own hair you know what i'm saying and it's like i'm gonna be honest i was there so i know like what me go outside with my real hair yeah right <laughs> Yeah, right. But now I'm going to be honest with you. It's like, I 
but never put another goddamn weave in my hair to keep it real like i'm just keeping it real because it's like i personally and the society for real i personally like when i'm all cute with my natural hair you know what i'm saying like i have a way for it but men be like yo you are gorgeous like like one time i was on a bus before i had my car thank god i got a car now <laughs> but i was on a bus and like this black guy had said to me he was like you are such a beautiful black woman and then he was like do you know what i mean by that and i was like i know exactly like she, he was so i was like i know exactly what you mean by that because like you know it's like we pay so much money for somebody else's type hair you know what i'm saying like let's keep it real you pay so much money for that and that's just like i just want people to really love themselves honestly i really and truly to the bottom of my heart i really just want little girls especially little girls like this is the future we're talking about you know and I'm going to be honest, I feel like as a people, we are definitely moving in the wrong direction. I'm just keeping it real. Like, because statistically speaking, we own more property 100 years ago than we do now. And that's crazy. That doesn't even make sense. Like when black people literally had to sit on the back of the bus, when we had to sit, we couldn't walk on the same side of the street with a white person you know what i'm saying we couldn't have we literally we still can't really have the same jobs for real for real but we can't know we can't so it's like you know when we really really could not have the same job we dumb and it's like why are we moving backwards i know why i'm moving backwards it's because of the music and the media because you sit there and you watch your love and hip-hop and all of that you don't realize you're programming yourself to, but that's neither here nor there i really hope y'all are out there living your best lives like honestly because with everything that's going on and pandemic part two is amongst us so let's get out here right because they shutting down the economy again and since they're shutting down the economy again let's just focus more on ourselves you know so I really appreciate you guys for tuning in and everything. I'm going to try to make more videos about this hair stuff. Because I think if I made more videos, then I would just do it. But let's see what happens. Well, you guys have an absolutely fantastic day. Remember, spread love, spread kindness, and namaste.